All right, everybody, it's uh, me, Greg Manorino, and we have to talk, and I mean we have to talk. I know I say that a lot, but I'm, I'm serious this time. I'm not going to make any jokes here because we're getting some very serious I information, and, and sincerely, the system is broken, and I want to put a little light on that. As a matter of fact, you might think that I've lost it, and I'm sure many of you do, but I want to run something by you and I want to hear your take on it. So what's going on? As I am doing this video blog, stocks are up across the board triple digits. Nice little rally on Wall Street, okay. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this is what happened. Private sector jobs numbers missed the mark by not just a little bit, and not even just by a mile, but I'm talking about by light years. The expectation was an adding of 173,000 jobs. We added 27,000, okay? Now, again, stocks are off to the races here. In a real market, do you believe this would be happening? Uh, no. What this says to the market is the Fed has got to step in and immediately. That's the truth. So that's why stocks are higher. The yield curve, the yield curve right now, and I've been explaining this for a long time, it's a, it's a disaster area, and the dead market is a time bomb. As I am doing this video blog, the three-month treasury is dominating what's left of the yield curve. There's no yield curve anymore. The 30-year is the only one paying more than the three month right now as I am doing this video blog. And the only reason on the planet Earth is we just got hit with such an abysmal piece of economic news that the market realizes that without direct and nearly immediate intervention from the Federal Reserve, this house of cards built on top of a pool of gasoline is about to go up. Now, this is what I was alluding to earlier in this video. This jobs number miss may be a black swan. I'm, I'm dead serious on this. Now, it's going to take a while for, this to, for the ripple effects of this to go through the market. Again, you got this euphoria right now. Stocks are higher. Yeah, yeah, the, the Fed's going to step in. We're going to get rate cuts, quantitative easing, bailouts are coming. This is why the market is euphoric. However, what does it mean in the grand scheme of things? This is going to happen. The Fed is going to have to step in or this is going to come down. The president does not want this to come down on his watch, at least not until after the uh, next election. So an enormous amount of effort is going to get put in here to try try to keep it propped up. Doesn't mean it's going to work. You have to understand. In fact, Lynette Zhang and I spoke about this yesterday. Uh, a lot of you seem to have caught that. I got rave reviews on it. One guy said, "Greg, you and Lynette are both idiots." Well, okay, maybe we are. I don't know. But most of you seem to enjoy that show. I do not think that Lynette's an idiot. She's very smart. And I, I can't imagine why people come up, how they come up with these kinds of things, but that's the way it is. Again, these type of people, they, they have to be lied to. They have to exist in their manufactured, in their brain box um, that everything is okay. But, but look, here's the bottom, bottom, and I mean bottom line. The United States economy right now is in free fall. It's in free fall. We're watching the collapse here. Why do you think? What's the real reason why we have an influx of people coming from Mexico right now? Have you ever thought about it? Let me explain this to you. It's something I covered years ago. I said when this meltdown global begins, it's going to start in the third world countries, in the smaller, poorer countries, and these people are going to start to flee. That's what we're witnessing there. It's not that they're, they're coming here to the United States, obviously, to try to get out of the situation they're in. But it's inescapable. We cannot get out. 
the United States, we are going to end up in, in absolute meltdown mode within a relatively short period of time. And this thing that the Fed is going to do by cutting rates, more quantitative easing, more bailouts are coming, it's a Band-Aid. The United States is going to end up in a worse situation, mark my words, worse than any third world nation on earth. And do you know why? Because the people here are so entitled. That's what they feel like. They're entitled to everything. And when this whole thing becomes real, people are going to look to flee the United States. And that wall is going to lock them in, okay, if, if it ever gets built. But that's what's going on here. That's the real issue behind the wall. Why are people fleeing Mexico? People are, you cannot escape what's coming. It's inescapable. I don't care what corner of the earth you may live in. The fact of the matter is, this global debt bubble is a financial monster that's going to swallow the earth. And unfortunately, people are going to suffer on a biblical scale as this really gains momentum. Now, going back to this number here, an expectation of 173,000 jobs and we add only 27,000, that to me literally sounds like a possible black swan event. And again, the ripple effects, we're going to see how this plays out because without an enormous amount of effort, and Lynette and I spoke about this yesterday on her show, um, from the Federal Reserve here, to keep this propped up, the Wall Street banks, whatever. this is it. This is it. If it were not for that promise right now that the Fed wasn't going to do something, where do you think the market would be? Would we have gained 500 points yesterday? No. We would have lost more than that because we got two abysmal pieces of economic news yesterday. And today, this is off the Richter scale how bad this is. And the system, people, is broken. When you have a market that continues to rise on news like this and is on hope that the Fed is going to run to the rescue and bail everything out, it's not going to help. It's a band-aid. It's going to just magnify the issues that much worse. And when it comes down, the people here in the United States, possibly yourself, are going to look to run to the hills. People in the United States are probably going to try to run to South America. I mean, people are going to run and they're not going to find a safe haven anywhere when this comes down. We have never, ever in the history of mankind witnessed what we're seeing now. So think about these things. When you hear about why people are coming to America trying to, from Mexico, what are they really doing? What's going on around the world? Well, you're not supposed to know. But the U.S. economy is in free fall along with, with the rest of the world. And would it make sense to you that the, the poorest countries on earth would get hit first? Who's going to get hit last? We are. The developed nations around the world. But you can't escape what's coming. It's absolute impossible. absolutely impossible. Anyway, with that said, what do you think about all this? Is this important? Do people need to hear some of this? If you believe they do, Please share this video. Please get it out there. I would love to see a thumbs up. If you completely disagree with me, I would love to hear from you too. Um, let me know what you think about all this. And uh, I'll read the comments. This guy honestly does love you. People, before I let you go, before I let you go, I, I, I want to say this one more time, and I've been broadcasting this for years. We are responsible for each other. We have got to come together. They are trying to divide us purposely, okay? They want to keep us separated by whatever they possibly can. They want to create enemies among the people. We are not our enemies. We have got to learn to love each other. Because when this all comes down, and it's going to, I can't stress to you enough how badly we're all going to need each other. We are going to need, we need each other now, but people don't get it. They're too stuck in being divided, divide and conquer, divide and conquer. We are not each other's enemies. Make a difference in other people's lives. It's so important. 
Try to do one thing good today, just one, for someone that you maybe don't even know. And I promise you, it'll come back to you. It will tenfold. With that said, again, this guy loves you a lot. Please share this video. Get it out. Let me know what you think. See you at the end of the day.